What is going on? Welcome back to Mugen Films. If this is your first time here, I introduce, review, and rank films every week. So start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss your favorite shows. In this episode, I'll be doing a quick review on Fate's Day Night, Heaven's Field 2, Lost Butterfly. Though this review is for the second chapter, it more or less covers the first one as well. So watch this video right now, and if this film sparks your interest, you can go ahead and start with Heaven's Field 1, Presage Flower. I always aim to be concise and keep it free of spoilers, but since spoilers can be subjective, please proceed with your own discretion. Starting off with the production quality category. Our first category is plot. If you've seen any of the Fate series, then you know the general story already. It's hard to go wrong when you have legendary figures fighting a great war to obtain a religious artifact. However, no matter how good a story may be, playing off of the same story can and does get a bit repetitive. Therefore, plot is getting an 8. The next category is character. The film had a good mix of characters with strong personalities which the actors did a fine job of expressing them. The characters' development and script were both good for the most part, though it did have a couple of areas where the dialogues felt a bit anime-ish, if you get what I'm saying. Character gets a 9. Next up, we have audio and visual. This is the category where Heaven's Feel really shines. Their audio is great, but the visual effects is incredible. Because the animation is so detailed, even scenes that would usually be less interesting wasn't so at all. You can tell just how detailed this anime is with this scene alone. In a regular anime, this would have been a still screen, with just the mouth opening and closing a few times. The film maintains this kind of quality throughout most of the movie, earning itself a 10 here. Next on the list is detail. The movie in general was okay, but it did have some questionable logic. I understand sometimes they do it to make things more dramatic, but if not done well, it could very much have the opposite impact, like throwing you out of the moment and making you think, well, that didn't make sense. And Heaven's Field got a few scenes like this, and that's why it's getting a 7 out of 10. Last in our production category is Pace. Pace was a bit of both, fast and slow. Certain fight scenes that could have used more explanation and a lot more action was rushed through and was cut short. If they had reduced the drama scenes, or left that as is, but instead added more battle scenes, it would have been more ideal. I'm giving this category a 7. For genre, 5 points for quantity and 5 points for quality will be given. First up is action. There are about 2 or 3 fight scenes per movie, so not a whole lot in quantity, but the quality is outstanding. Some of the battles even involve schemes and strategies making the scenes that much more interesting and convincing. But for lack of quantity, it's getting a 7 out of 10. Next we have comedy. The overall mood is quite serious and therefore has very little room for humor. They did have a couple of scenes, but they were very mild so I'm giving it a 1 here. The next category is drama. Though Heaven's Field did contain some drama, some of them were too otherworldly that it was kind of hard to relate. And because of that, it failed to stir up any significant amount of emotions. This category receives a 5. Next we have Romance. It wasn't a whole lot, but there was more romance than I had expected. But it was nice to see a non-hentai anime be more realistic and have some mature content. And I don't necessarily mean nudity, which you won't get much of from here. Romance is getting a 6. Last in the genre category is violence. There is a small amount of violence with people or creatures losing their limbs and spilling their guts, but since there are only a few scenes of them, I'm giving violence a 4. Before I give you my final thoughts and score, a quick reminder that if you want more content like this, the easiest way for you to tell me is by smashing that like button. I've seen most of the Fate series, so for me it wasn't the story that drew me in, but more for my appreciation for the animation quality and the action scenes. The animation was indeed great, and I was very content with it, however I do wish it had more battle scenes like mentioned before. I mean after all, they are at war, right? Hopefully their final chapter will fulfill this wish of mine. So until then, Heaven's Field is getting a 7.5 out of 10 for the HTFB score. And finally, the production quality received a total score of 41 out of 50. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos.